to Harlingdale High School where there were a lot of pachucos. And there's a picture of Cesar when he was, I don't know, 16 years old and he's wearing a zoot suit and he's with his brother Richard and another guy and, and they look just like us kids back in the, in the day there at Harlingdale. And I thought, this is a guy, he's just like, he's just like me. Cesar didn't have to come and organize farm workers across the country, but he chose to he, because he knew, he was raised in that environment and he knew of the plight of the forgotten people. And his job was, in his life, self-proclaimed task was that he wasn't gonna let these people be forgotten any longer. And uh, was introduced to the march by uh, Judge Albert Peña Jr. And Albert used to talk to me about uh, when he went and visited Cesar Chavez in, in jail. And it was very uh, uh, inspiring, the connection that these World War Tours, these greatest generation Mexican-Americans that, that went into the war, discovered discrimination, and then came back to their cities and dedicated their lives to fighting for the justice of the Mexican-American. And the march has been the matrix for that, the First Amendment uh, opportunity to, to voice our concerns and to carry our, our beliefs into the city. And one of the major accomplishments is when the city of San Antonio became a sponsor of the march along with the, with the Sister Chavez March for Justice Committee and the Sister Chavez Legacy and Educational Foundation. My hope for, for the, the future of the Sister Chavez March for Justice in San Antonio is that it finds itself with fresh leaders, every generation, to carry the, the life and legacy and more importantly, the values of Cesar Chavez and leaders like Cesar. Judge Albert Peña was, was my mentor and he was, it was important to him that, that I got to know Jaime and the march. And it happened quick, you know, I, I uh, got in and, and my, my kind of natural organizing skills went to work and I haven't blinked an eye, and here it is 21 years later, and um, the only question is where'd all the time go, you know? <laughs>